All right, let's talk about candles here. This is really interesting. So it's interesting how when you talk to professional gamblers, like people who gamble on sports, what they typically talk about is the importance of trading the line. So the way that it works, and I, I'm someone who used to say, really, trading has nothing to do with gambling. But actually, I've come around to the fact that there are a few parallels. Now, I'll admit um, and I always say this when people say that, oh, that's just gambling on the markets. You don't really know of any banks, do you, that have horse racing divisions? <laughs> they all have currency trading divisions, but they don't really have horse racing divisions, do they? Uh, so it's not quite on the same level. But if you talk to those gamblers who trade or, or trade, who bet on sports, what they typically will tell you is the important thing that they do is they trade the line. So when one team has an advantage and they're considered the favorite by, say, three points or whatever, um, the, the professional gamblers are watching that line like a hawk. And as soon as it moves to a favorable position, they'll go ahead and lock in the bet. And that's how it works. And so as a trader, I tend to look at this the same way because... Typically, the, the, the professional gamblers, they like to get in when the line hasn't settled down. So they'll, they'll take a lot of bets early if it's a good price. And then later on, as the line settles down, they'll stay away from that. And I, I heard one say, I was listening to a podcast, and he was saying, it's almost impossible to make money in sports betting if you just bet right before the game. The reason why is all the information is available. Everyone kind of knows uh, where things are at, and, and the line is pretty good. Now, with trading, it's similar. What you're looking at here is the euro pound one hour chart. And what I want you to pay attention to are the, are the eight candles, the first eight candles. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. By the way, if you want to learn more about how to grow an account quickly, you can join us. We're doing that right now. We're taking a thousand dollar account, ramping it up to a uh, hundred grand. It's a thousand dollars ramping. Uh, it's, it's up about 25% right now or something like that. And we're ramping up to 100 grand. And you can follow along by clicking the link below this video if you want more information on that. Okay, so the first eight candles, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, interesting because if I had just watched, say, the first, I don't know, uh, half of the candle, the first four hours, one, two, three, four, I would have seen a pretty bearish candle. It opened here and it was sagging down here. And, and I might have thought, you know what? It's not really going anywhere. But again, later on, adding one, two, three, four more candles, and it actually ramps up quite a bit. Same thing here, uh, which is interesting, is that if I had watched this candle form, this eight-hour candle, and I'll show you the eight-hour candle in a moment. If I watched an eight-hour candle form, I see one, two, three. The first three um, candles are like, wow, this is amazing. The market's really taking off. But actually, it just kind of languished around after that. So you can look at the exact eight-hour candles I'm talking about right here. So these are the two that I just showed you right here. So this is that first candle. You can see it's quite bullish. This is the second one. Now what you're looking at here is um, a pretty classic trend continuation pattern uh, on the euro pound eight-hour chart here where it kind of wedges up and then explodes higher. I've, we talked about this earlier in the week where I, I mentioned that this is what it looks like. It looks like a trend continuation. And not only that, but we know that most of the retail traders are selling this pair. So it's, it's a really good bullish uh, trend right now. And if you'd like to learn how to use the crowd to trade trends, then you should look at the Small Accounts Big Profits class. Click the link below. And I'll help you. It'll help you understand what what it's all about, and how we're going to take the small account and grow it up as fast as we can. We'll be using techniques like trend trading and looking at open position ratios, which is actually a really cool way to see the strength of the trend. I hope this video helps. And if here's a here's a tip: if you want to take a look at a candle and write down what you think the candle is going to do eight times during the candle. So if it's an eight hour candle, it'd be, you know, every hour. If it's a four hour candle, every 30 minutes. And and write down what you think the candle is going to look like in the end. And you'll be surprised at how different it is. Um, and when you have most of the information, when you get to that seventh 
time when you're writing down what you think the candle is going to going to do that's when you're most accurate and you'll be widely inaccurate if you're trying to figure out what that candle is going to look like in the beginning it's very different at the closing time almost it's it's almost magical how candles change so much even the five minute candles change so much at the very end of their time period so i hope this helps i'll see you in another video and i wish you happy trading see ya